Poland Fronos photo.com and this is raw edit of the week number 58 and it's brought to you by alan's camera.com alan's camera.com so we have an interesting photo here we have man's best friend and we have a lot of men's friends woman yeah um anyway so this is an interesting photo normally i wouldn't let's see say take a photo that isn't tack tack sharp but there's something interesting that can happen here I, you know, part of this raw edit is to see how you can save a file if there is nowhere else to go. Like, it's the last resort. You need this file to make it or break it. And you need to save the photo shoot by getting this image to work. You don't have it as uber duber, uber duber tack sharp. Honestly, the focus is somewhere around here on the hair uh, the, where it's tack. And then you move up to where the dog is licking and it's not sharp. Now, why isn't it sharp? It's 1 400th of a second at 2.8. ISO 400, 48 millimeters using the 24 to 72.8 on the Nikon D700. Well, it could be the lens missing, or could could just be that the 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 person moved, the subject moved, moved because this blade of grass right here is tack sharp. That's where it's sharp. And as we move up, it's like she moved out of that focus area. This is one of those things when you shoot at 2.8 um, that you cannot. Sometimes you can miss. Um, if your focus is just off, either you're doing continuous and, and the subject moves, uh, well, not really so much continuous, but if you're in single, you're locked in and then the girl like moves away as the dog goes like this and she moved back and you didn't relock or recompose, you missed the image. But say this is the only image you got and you need to save it. How are you going to edit this raw file? How are you going to save it to make it, to make it that this person who's like, wow, that's my dog and that's me and that's the greatest photo ever and I really, really want this particular one. And you're like, oh snap, it's not sharp, but what can I do to save it? What are you going to do to it? Are you going to make it, uh, you're going to pull back on the clarity? Are you going to try to pull up the clarity? Are you going to try to sharpen the eyes? Are you going to try to sharpen the face? Are you going to go black and white? What are you going to do? Are you Are going to crop this? How are you going to handle making this so that the client is going to be happy with this photo, even if you're not happy that it's not tack sharp? This is part of the exercise of the raw edit of the week, is sometimes taking an image that you know, you may not be too happy with, but the client wants, and turning it into something special that they would like. Would it be turning this into a cartoon? You know, I'm, what I see in the mind right now is one of those 1940s, like, Dick Tracy things where you got, like, the paint, the ink splotches and all those dots and, and all those cool, it's like Speed Racer type animation or Japanimation type stuff. You know, have fun. That's, that's these raw edits of the week, or that's what they're all about. So what are you going to do to this file to make it work? Give me those regular edits like you like to do, but then give me that off the wall. Try two separate ones. Also, put those screen flows up, and please call them Raw Edit of the Week 58? It is 58, right? Let me look at something real quick. 58, 58? Yep, it's 58. Raw Edit of the Week 58. Good, I wasn't wrong. So that's what I'd like to see. Be sure to post your images on... Uh, the forum first and foremost, that's where they go under raw edit uh, number 58 because that's where I pick your raw edits of the week from. But I, I don't mind when you put them on Facebook and tag, you know, Frono's photo if you can or just um, make sure it says Frono's photo raw edit so other people know where you got it. Also, you can put it on Google Plus. You can put it in the, I like, you know what, upload them this week, a lot of them to the Flickr photo group. I will grab them from the Flickr photo group as well, but please make sure they're either in the forum or the Flickr photo group. And if you do use Pinterest, you can follow me on there, Jared Poland. I started a board and you can put your images on Pinterest just so more people will get into this. And if you're on there, please repin the, um, raw edit of the week file that I put up there. So make a screen flow if you can. I'm going to try to, I'm going to call screen flow and see if they want to sponsor this and give away more free copies of screen flow each week to you guys who go ahead and put together your screen flows. Um, I'll try to reach out to them and see if they'll do it just to do it. I'm not really looking for too much other than, other than for them to maybe even give us one a month to give away. Uh, maybe we'll hold a contest for the best screen flow of the month. But I got to give them a call and see what they say because that would be good uh, to give that stuff away to you guys. Um, so yeah, do those screen flows, save it, uh, upload it to 
YouTube as a video response to this video. So that's Raw Edit of the Week 58. Can't wait to see what you guys do to it. Have fun with it. Go extreme, go normal, go extreme, go normal, go extreme. That's what you can do. Be sure to post them everywhere you can and name them Raw Edit of the Week number 58. Do not email your edits of this file to that email address. Uh, that's just not where they get sent. But do send in your... I'm looking for cool portraits, indoors, outdoors, um, with flash, without flash, of girls, of guys, of animals. Send in your raw file portraits. I'd like to see 100 come in next week for raw edits to, you can go to fronosphoto at gmail.com. That's where the raw edits go. Be sure to put in your uh, high-res JPEG along with it. But yeah, let's see a lot of those portraits. Um, you've seen what we've been putting up, and a lot of people have liked that. So let's see if we can make this one bigger than last week. Have fun, Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya!